Uh, uh, you gotta eat that chip off your shoulder. You gotta eat that chip off your shoulder. You gotta eat that chip off your shoulder. What's up, everybody? And welcome to Snacks on Deck. It's your boy, Man Me 69. And today, we're getting on a plane. And I hope you went to your local passport office. Because we got Pringles flavor passport from Japan. It's taking us to London. It's the fish and chips flavor. We're about to see what it tastes like. I already know what it tastes like because I just ate one. Let's get into it, baby. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a little secret that not a lot of people know about Pringles. Every Pringle looks the goddamn same, okay? Why does every Pringle have to look the same? Can't we make hexagons, right? I love doing the duck face party fingers with it, okay? You want me to do that? I'll do that. But seriously, like, Pringles, can we get new shapes, bro? Can we get new styles? I want new textures. I know we got wavy. Don't nobody want wavy. I don't know what you want wavy, right? But something else you could do, is you could take, because these are from London, right? Put a Union Jack on the chip, right? You could print it in spices and seasoning. Nice British flag on the chip. That would be sick, dude. I would love these if they had that. And so, let's get into the actual chip. All right. What does London taste like? What does fish and chips in London taste like? Does it taste like these Pringles? No, I don't think so, fam, because I've had fish and chips in London. And it's way better than these Pringles. But, but, I do love Pringles. Seasoning, texture, everything's the same that you would expect from like a sour cream and onion Pringle or something like that, right? You're getting that like chalky kind of, um, yeah, that's the best way to, it's kind of like a sandy chalky feel in your mouth when you get the seasoning on your tongue. There's not enough MSG in these to make me love these chips right now. They're good. They're okay. They're, yeah, they're somewhere between good and okay. If you want a fish flavored chip, it does hit that. It doesn't bring too much fish though. So if you pass it to someone, you can smell it a little bit, but not really. You just smell the Pringles seasoning. Yeah, it smells like baked potato or like fried potatoes. That's what it is. It smells like fried potatoes and Pringles seasoning. You can't really smell fish. So if you ate this blind and you didn't know what it was, it might be hard to detect fish on the flavor. And that's where my criticism comes in for these chips. Where is the brown vinegar, bro? Everybody loves dipping their fish and chips in brown vinegar. Put that on these chips. They would be so much better. Can you make a powdered brown vinegar? I think you can do anything, right? And so, overall, yeah, it's been fun flying to London. I love the thought in a marketing campaign. We're like, what does London taste like? And then you can start a discussion with strangers. You'd be on a bus, be like, hey, man, what do you think London tastes like? And she's like, oh my God, let me tell you about this time when me and my friends went to London and we had fish and chips. And you're like, do you think that's what these Pringles taste like? And they'll be like, mm, I don't know, let me get my passport. Like, that's fun. I love that. That's a fun game. Give me more city flavored Pringles, okay? I'm digging this vibe. But overall, fish and chips, like, you had to do it. It's London. You had to do it. And nobody's getting to eat blood pudding chips. I would for you, but I wouldn't want to. So, overall, Pringles, London, it's all right. What's up, Whoopi? How you living, pimp? You want one? This fish? You like fish? Nah, all right, Whoopi's done with them, too. So, I think that's going to wrap it up here. Pringles, passport to London flavor. I had a good time. It was fun. I'm not going to buy these. I'm not going to seek these out. But there was something on my shelf over here. That is absolute fire. It is one of the best chips I've ever eaten, and I want to share it with y'all. We're going to do that next time on Snacks on Deck, baby. Peace.